Hello people. Good morning. I thought I'd make this video because I made a short one yesterday suggesting people go and watch a video. A couple have invented a machine which is very good which reads scalar energy frequencies. Now everything is energy and frequency so this was interesting. So they invented this machine and they can now read frequencies of everything. Now if people are awake and understand quantum physics and everything else and what's going on Everything is energy and frequency. That's our future, actually. Resonance, energy, frequency. And they did pharmaceuticals. They read many things. They read sacred sites. They read pharmaceuticals. They read people. They read you know all kinds of things. Fascinating, actually. <clears throat> really fascinating. It's uh, mind-boggling. In the meantime, we're not able to do it, so we're relying on machines. But in the future, we'll be able to do it. So they read, obviously, as pharmaceuticals are very low. Because look what the intention of the medicine is, or whatever the drug is, what it's made to do. It's very low frequency. Now, if you are in this field, you'll understand frequency. And the higher you go, the more the more you you have access to, and the more enlightened, whatever. That's a, that's another whole the whole story. So I made a quick video yesterday and said because I noticed on on YouTube a lot of these meditation videos about meditations, about the spiritual movement, about the awakening, about any of this this whole thing. They have adverts about ayahuasca. They're trying to sell ayahuasca to, to young people. All right, I, so, so it's a fantastic thing. I made a caution to people. Before you go and take psychedelics and ayahuasca, go and watch this video because it gives you some scientific input to the frequency. But now most people, because TikTok, I mean, it's, it's social media. So there's all kinds of people and all kinds of levels out there. But this is what concerned me. It's a lot of people that haven't a clue and they'd want now to get these experiences but not wanting to do the work. So they will just go in and think, oh, I want to you know, check this out. They want to be able to get the visions and the say, astral travel and things like that without having to do the work. And this is where the catch is. It's not for everybody. So you should be, do a little bit, be a bit more, do some research before you go and experiment with any mind-altering drug. Do some research, especially understand frequency and resonance, dimensions, densities, because everything that's on a lower density dimension are the dark negative beings. First, second, third, fourth dimensions are not pleasant. All right? So, as if you are on this awakening path, the more you have, the higher you vibrate, you hold the vibration of light, first of all, the more access you have to more enlightened beings, planets, everything else. The more you're able to communicate, see, and whatever else, because it's a frequency. But what I didn't go into too much detail. What I said to people is before you start taking these drugs, go and have a look at that video because that'll make you think twice. Don't just go and take something because everybody is different. It's not for everybody. So people will go off and think, oh my gosh, okay, let's try it out and I can go and this is an amazing trip, whatever. But then end up, some people have really very nasty experiences. When you, any acid trip or any of these type of things will do that to you because it does alter the mind. What, what they don't get is the spirit is the soul's perspective. So listening to these people was quite interesting. They're able to read when the soul leaves the body of the frequency changes if something else if something else drops into the person's body or manipulates it. And this is what you're dealing with. You're dealing with a spiritual realm. It's not just, oh my gosh, I can go see things. Well, you have a soul. You're dealing with a spiritual realm and the unseen. And it's not all pleasant out there. It also depends on you, what you're holding inside. Because as above, so below, as within, so without. So this is why I'm trying to caution. Everybody wants to be lazy. They don't want to go and do, they think it's easier because, oh, to get into a trance meditation or to do this, you know, I'll just take a drug. It's a lot, look, there's a lot of our culture. It's, it's, let me take a drug to wake me up. Let me take a drug to, you know, keep me awake because I'm tired. Let me take a drug to sleep. Let me take, this is what we've been pushed. And as usual, I'm sure pharmaceutical will try and it'll be chemically altered and be regulated. So it'll be, big, uh, you know, this is where I see it going, the wide fashion and it's pushed out and everyone will be taking drugs because it's easy instead of doing the, the work themselves, instead of doing the meditation, the mindfulness, the healing and the clearing and their shadows. And what I find interesting is making this video was a great, my, my point was, for me, was shown. I got a lot of attacks under the video personally not attacks by me, but it's a shadow. If we understand what we push out, what we anger, if somebody triggers you, what angers you, what is a mirror reflection of unresolved issues in you. 
So I got all these comments yesterday. I found that, oh, rubbish, she doesn't know what she's talking about. Oh, don't put your thing on me and this and that. I thought, wow, that's so interesting. <laughs> that was so interesting. Oh my gosh, you think everything's dark and dark. And I thought, wow, you're not, there's no reflection there. And that anger and, and, and resistance or defense is all you're doing is showing me what you haven't cleared or what shadows and things. And it is the mirror. What triggers you is a mirror. Because what you're saying about somebody else is actually you. You feeling everything is dark and dense or you, whatever it is. It's just, you know, or defensive. You can't have your voice. If you don't like someone else's opinion, we're seeing this globally. If you don't like someone else's opinion, you don't want, they must be quiet. Because it doesn't resonate with you. That is, it's unresolved issues. And everything is, your know, emotions, it's frequencies. So I found that absolutely fascinating. How people get really angry and, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you must do it with a shaman. Oh, blah, 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 blah. But that's what I'm saying. It depends on what, maybe they haven't experienced something else. There's no shortcut to this. Every soul is different. And some will choose the easy path and to do that. But some people have had these things and had horrendous, horrendous trips because they're not told this. When it began, and it probably will get pushed mainstream. They're not told this. They haven't done the inner work. Here's my thing. Anyone on a spiritual path, right? There's no shortcut. You can do it, but that's your soul's journey. You must learn that yourself. There's no shortcut. So sit down and do the transcendental meditation. Do the work. Practice. It will happen. It doesn't happen first time. But practice. Get to know your soul. When you're doing that, you're in control of your meditation. When you take a psychedelic, you're not in control of that trip. This is my point. You are basically, and I've been in one of those things, you are stuck in this thing and you are not in control. You can't stop the medication and ask yourself something. You just, you're like a prisoner. It's like watching a movie. You're just stuck in this thing and you're just gone. So some people have horrendous, horrendous experiences that traumatize them and terrify them and actually leave them with mental health issues afterwards. So this is why I made a video caution. Before you take these things, go and watch that. Why? Because the reading of the frequency of that is extremely low. So if you're wanting a good experience or being able to communicate, see things on a higher perspective and a higher dimension, beings on a higher density, much more enlightened, involved, good beings, right? They vibrate and they're on much higher frequencies. They're more evolved. They're much higher up on the chain and density. There we are. Their frequency and vibration does not vibrate down here. These drugs are very low. 50, the frequency is 50, 20s, 10s, 100s. Those are frequencies of fear manipulation. That's how the frequencies are. You can read people, they'll tell you. And they're able to see in your life. If you don't, if you, if you doubt them, go and watch some of their own and then get your own reading. Because you'll be mind blown to see when they read what you carnated in, they can, you can actually, able, they'll tell you this frequency, your frequency went there, you're now here. You'll be able to correlate it to your life. And, oh, well, I had a really hard time at that time. So your frequency dropped. This is all we are as energy. We are affected by frequencies. Emotions are frequencies. So I found that so interesting. Because a lot of people say, oh, she talks nonsense. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Oh, she, she shouldn't have, whatever. Yes, because that's what I, that is my exact point. Don't just go and take the stuff. If you haven't resolved your issues, your shadows, your own demons... You can have a really nasty experience. Secondly, understand you're taking something with a low frequency. So that will lower your frequency. So whatever trips and vibrations and experiences that you're going to have, they're going to be on a certain frequency, not a high frequency. There we are. And some people have. I mean, they've had actually, they've never recovered from these things. They actually affected them terribly. So that's really, but at, for me, what was fascinating was people's, um, actually the, the replies. Um, people felt very it's fascinating. I'm not going to get, you know, it's not for me. It's, I'm just, I observed and I thought, wow, that's interesting. You need to work on that or you haven't cleared that. Or that the fact that you think someone else can't talk, they're forcing their opinion on you. You've lost, you haven't claimed your power. You don't feel sovereign. You don't feel... If you feel frightened by someone else's opinion, it threatens yours. You know, they're trying to force it on you. You haven't, you and you as a soul are not whole. You don't, you haven't claimed your sovereignty. You don't know that you're free and you're all powerful and nothing can affect you. Unless you allow it. Unless you accept that belief. If you believe, oh my gosh, you know, that's it. 
so you don't feel free. This is why we're seeing this globally. The planet is going through global shadow work, global trauma. It's horrendous. It's affecting the planet, actually. That's what they were showing me. It's actually affecting the planet because the planet is a live being and the planet's at a certain frequency. You've got all these humans running around at the moment and their frequency is... is most of them are going through trauma, purging, trauma, anger, fear, hate, fear of the vir fear of everything, whether it's a virus, not what's happening, but everything. So you've got a collective trauma, shadow going on on the planet. That's frequency being pushed out to everybody. And it affects everybody. You pick up frequencies. That's how you're able to do readings on your heart or your mind without attaching electrodes to your brain because it gives off signals. Same with Wi-Fi, technology, these things give off signals. Your brain picks them up and they are low negative frequencies. 5G, Wi-Fi has a very low negative frequency. They're actually microwave frequencies. Your microwave works at the same frequency, so it's kind of cooking you. So now, if you understood that and you think that's bad, why would you want to take a psychedelic, understand a psychedelic and ayahuasca? If it's, if it's their reading, a frequency of that is 50 or 20. It's a very low frequency. It's the same thing. But instead of people actually watching, I found it fascinating, instead of them going to this video, because understand, second thing, your soul leaves your body. If a plant is extremely toxic to the body, and some people can actually go into if they take too much of the stuff, it is a toxic plant. This is why you're supposed to do it with someone that knows what they're doing. And we're talking about not pharmaceutical that's made and popped in a pill for you. I'm sure that will be out easily. So they'll try and sell this as a wonderful new drug now. This is a wonder drug like every other drug. Like anything that alters your mind, your state of mind, think about it. Okay, you're not in control of your mind. It's being manipulated. That's a frequency of manipulation. So where you are, if you haven't done that, your soul leaves your body because you're going to astral. That's it. You're going to astral mode, be off you go. That's why you have this trip. You're going to see these things. You are on a low frequency. You haven't done shadow work. You are open. To being manipulated as i was saying in my video to dark denser lower beings that vibrate and occupy the lower densities your demonic realm first second third fourth dimensions are low negative beings a lot of our beings anger they still have this polarity nonsense so that's what frequencies they resonate so whatever frequency you're resonating and that's what you bump into when you raise your frequency and you've cleared your stuff like people say, they have attacks, psychic attacks, this and that. Why? Because you're at a lower frequency. You haven't worked on your traumas and baggage. You're open. So you are vulnerable and you're vibrating at that. You're going to bump into that. Because what you resonate and what you add is what you draw to you. There we are. This is why I don't just go and take pulls as an easy excuse or lay. It's a way of run. So it's a laziness. Instead of doing the work and, and getting there yourself, you can do it without any medication. You can acid trip, remote view, go on these, see anything, go into any realms, visit any beings, uh, anything in the, in the quantum field. Because everything is out there. You don't need medication to do it. It forms a habit. Because now you take it and it's easy, so oh, I'll just take a pull. This is, what, this, is what, this is what pharmaceutical always does. This has always been the case. This is why we have a sick world. Mass disease. You go into Africa and countries where they have no medication, poverty, they don't have any of our diseases. They have a higher frequency. The immunity is actually much higher. It's incredible. But you go to the West and we have sickness, obesity, this, that, intolerance, bowel, inflammatory, you, every disease you think of. Why? And we're the most medicated in the world. That's exactly why. Instead of working on ourselves, eating properly, diet, a mind body balance, we take tablets. We're treating the symptoms, not the cause. And this is what most people want to do. Let me take a psychedelic because I can just go and, you know, it's just a, it's another drug. That's it. It's just a drug. It's like any drug. So, yeah, that's was my thing, cautioning people because I see they're trying to push it. It's very now the end thing. And all, a lot of adverts under all these videos, they're adverts about ayahuasca. And that is a dangerous trap. Because it's leading people into being lazy. Let's not work on myself. I, I'll just do that so I don't have to sit and meditate and, and work on it. And it's not work because once you start doing transcendental meditation, it's practice your third eye and your mind. All you do, the more you do it, the easier it is to get into it. Once you activate it, it's, it takes two seconds. You just sit down and, and tap in. You don't have to even meditate. You stay connected. You're able to then 
Remote view astral travel at will without having to sit there and, and try and meditate and do it. You're able to take quieten yourself for five minutes on your bed and focus and you'll be able to go. You don't need to buy tablets and medicines to do it for you and understand when you are doing that and there, those beings, because you're, that's what I'm saying, you're under the influence of the drug, which is on a low frequency. You're on a low frequency. If you haven't done shadow work, this and that and that, or whatever issues you have, I notice a huge amount of issues. The people that were defending ayahuasca, actually, and this, have, a lot, have not done shadow work because just, they, just their response alone showed me. So that's interesting. You wouldn't feel threatened by it. If you have nothing, you nothing threatens you. Very interesting. So yes, it's something people should really think uh, think about before you go and do it, because it becomes a habit, and it's a drug. And understand, it has a low frequency. So this video that I was explaining are a couple that have this machine, and that's what they do: read frequencies very accurately, amazingly. People do it. They do it for businesses because anything has a frequency. They do it for businesses, sacred sites, people, everything. Medicines, just the global humanity, the global population I can tell you what the, our global, the moment the global humans are holding collectively, some are very high and some are low, are holding a frequency of 250. Are we there? We're we not in the unity consciousness and a high, you know, basically yet. So it's very interesting, actually. But it's, I was, I was I'm very amazed by the people's response when I said, before you take this stuff, it's, just be careful. It is dangerous. It can have a very negative impact on people. You might not, because you might be have no baggage. You might have done your work, and my goodness, great. But it's not just, you should willy-nilly popping it with. That's what I'm trying to tell people. Look into these things, okay, because they do alter your mind. And it might not be for the positive, okay. Because transcendental meditation is holistic, healthy, you in complete control. It rewires the neurons, expands the brain. I mean, it's just, it's amazing what it does for the brain. This is a manipulation. It's a drug. It manipulates the brain. You rely on to do that for you. All right. And yes, something else can manipulate. So your, your uh, trip can be manipulated and controlled and your soul by another being. Simple as that. Because you're leaving it open, off it goes, to these, and especially if you're lower vibration and frequency and you haven't sorted out your own things. Your, just your behavior. It's fascinating about people's reactions, actually. It was very, very interesting. And this is what I see them trying to push. It's a miracle drug, great, great. Everyone can connect so we can go and I can do this. And, because most peop young people are looking to astral travel and remote view. Have no clue this the spirit the, this, the risk of the spirit there's a risk as well because you haven't cleaned up your things and then people say to me I don't know I'm getting psychic attacks and I'm doing this and I'm seeing that as a reflection of what you haven't worked inside you in order to raise your frequency you need to clear your own trauma and baggage and do healing and blocking whatever you've got blocks restrictions I saw a huge amount in the comments to just to my 60 second video <laughs> by and oh no She's talking absolute nonsense and she doesn't know what she's talking about. Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, wow, now, now that's fascinating. And don't push your truth on me. No one can push their truth on you. This is why we have a problem in the world. We want to silence other people because everyone's truth is different. Speak your truth. Allow others to speak theirs. And you will not be threatened by anybody else's opinion speaking their truth because you will value them and love them. You see, that's their truth. And you love them for it. And you leave. That's their path they're walking. Your truth might not be their truth, but allow them to be theirs. This is the unity consciousness where we're going. When you've cleared your trauma and baggage and things and whatever else you've got, this is where you'll be at. You'll have no hate for any being. No judgment. You love and honor them. And, and you, but it doesn't bother you what someone else says because it's not you. Unless you choose to believe it, People get upset with someone else, you know, they, it's mostly families and tr it's shadow work, it's triggers, it triggers them. Someone said something nasty to me. Well, if you believe, you know, why are, we, why are you taking on what someone says? It's their opinion. And all it is, is their shadow, their projection, their pushing it onto you. It's critical, you, criticizing you because, you know, it's in them. That's what their soul's trying to show you. You haven't fixed this. 
So it's interesting. I found it fascinating um, by the people's responses and anger and just in, insults and whatever else. And I was like, wow, this is very interesting. It's a very controversial subject, you can see. Because why would you be feel so defensive of it? Interesting. So some people have wonderful. Some people go to shamans and have a wonderful trip and they just enjoy, some people enjoy drugs. They enjoy not being in control or just letting something else, you know, that's it. We know, I mean, it's a massive thing. Cocaine, or whatever else, partying. People love this. It's just, it was in a form of escape because they haven't, they're not, they're not happy with inside, with who they are. So they want to get out, escape their own body, their own mind. Instead of going within and dealing with it. But that's fine. That's their evolution path. They'll come back and they'll connate. And when they're ready, they will go up. So they'll just keep coming around your soul. It's a, it's a journey. It's, an, it's evolution. It's your soul working its way up. Some people's evolution might take many more lifetimes, many more connections to get there. But it's so interesting if someone felt threatened. They felt threatened by what I said. I found that fascinating. And it's not opinion. I don't hold any opinion. I look at this from perspective all around. And I'm watching and I'm thinking, okay, you need... It's, it's just consciousness. It's being conscious and critical thinking. Not from a personal. Don't buy into it personally. But look at all of it and it makes sense. Frequency, vibration, shadow, medicine... Um, then you can get a better perspective of it because it's being pushed there and it will be pushed as the wonderful, you know, great new thing. Which I'm sure it will, and of course it will be owned and controlled and patented by I'm sure pharmaceutical because if it's a natural plant, you know, they will then, they'll then they obviously genetically engineer a plant, slightly different, take this out, and then it will be on the market like they're doing with cannabis, like everything else. That's all it is. And it's not a positive frequency and it was not for a positive intent because that medic is controlling you. You don't need anything to control your mind to give you that experience, to do that astral, to do that. You just go within. You can do it yourself. It works exactly the same. Cool. So there we are. Interesting. It's not for everybody. It's not safe. Understand what you're playing with. Okay. Because there are other beings out there. These poor people then walk away, don't even realize they've got attachments sometimes. Or they're being manipulated by a dark entity. Because they are, that, is, that exists out there. All exists out there. Good, bad, everything. Depends on the dimensions. It depends on where you are. See? So no, it's not wise. And we all know that. Alcohol, why did they call it spirits? That's for fact. The minute you take a drop of alcohol, your, your soul's gone. Poops. It exits, stays above the body to protect itself because it's seen as toxic. So yeah, we put toxic things into our bodies all the time. <laughs> That's why we don't survive that long. In this, we don't, our bodies, we know most people live to about 80. Our environment is toxic. We're surrounded by Wi-Fi. There's all kinds of chemicals in your drinking water, on, on your food. And your, I mean, it's even and now there's, we've got met nanoparticles and everything. Being sprayed in our sky, we're breathing it into our lungs, nanobots, little robots. I mean, in our food, and our just insanity. Drugs, po we're poisoning the planet. We're poisoning ourselves. Okay, so that's what it is. It is a toxic plant, that's why it sends you to it. But that's why you've got to be careful on the dose you take of ayahuasca and things like that, because it's a potent thing. You can actually kill yourself, you know, you can actually die if you overdose, like anything. So yeah, people have had some nasty trips and experiences. And there are dodgy people out there. There will be people that will sell you these things in shamans. But, you know, they might not be that right, that okay. So this is not just, you know, but there will also be souls that will take shortcuts. Because it's lazy. I want to I wanna have that experience, but I don't want to do any work. I want to party, carry on with my life as it is. But I want to pop a pull when I want to go and, you know, whatever. <laughs> but that's where they'll be. That's what I'm saying. That's also all right. But the ones that'll want to listen, the ones that'll resonate, will find this, will take it in, and will and will think then before they just go and pop a pull. The ones that want to keep popping pulls or take these and love it and keep, they will keep doing it. That's where their soul is, and that's their evolution path. You know, some also come here to play the dark, so they will definitely be. You have dark and light souls that will try and do this and entrap people and entrap their souls absolutely. And so when they, when as soon as this happens, they will put something or have it, you know, something dark or demonic in to, to, you know, to manipulate them. That's also out there. That's what people don't realize. This world at the moment where we're at, 
consists of all beings, all consciousness, all densities you're able to access. There's not only good and positive. Not everyone has good and positive intent. You always need to, don't trust what everyone else says, go within. Okay. Go within. And if you feel angered or triggered or offensive of something, especially a drug, which is not even... Then you... you know, that's interesting. Very interesting. I guess that's just opinions out there. There's millions of opinions. And if we all respected each other's opinions and voices and what their beliefs are, we wouldn't be in this mess. They wouldn't have this anger and division and hate we have on the planet. We have a massive amount. I watch it. We have so much shadow work on this planet. The entire planet is going through massive. The frequencies are just hectic. It's chaos out there. Because they're angry at each other. It's all themselves. They said that. They shouldn't be allowed to. You shouldn't be not allowed to say that. We want to censor you. We want to, oh my goodness me. <laughs> Crazy. So that's not, drugs are not the answer. Like, pharma, like big pharma said, I will just pop a poll. Forget about your problems. Don't deal with the core issue. Take an antidepressant. Take a this, that'll just, you know, let's suppress the problems. And this is what happens. You cannot suppress it. But then you have a will to your free will. But understand. You will, have, you will deal with it in this life or the next carnation or the next carnation. But your soul, eventually you will face your shadows and your work. Because we all want, we all evolve. We all have, and we just, and we choose when and how we want to evolve. Some of us might want to come around many, many times, you know, on this planet to get it. To be able to get up there. And some are leaving, this is their last life on this planet. You know, they've been there, done the rodeo and they've done their work. And then they're ready to go much to a much higher existence. There we are, people. So there we are. Think about it. Okay, it's not all roses, all drugs. And it's a drug that's manipulating it. Right? That drug is in control of you. That takes you. You're not in control of your meditation and your thing. The drug is them. You were just taken and you're stuck in this trip. So uh, you can tell if a soul is here to play the dark. That's fascinating. They, they, they were divinely aligned with their divine purpose to play a dark role, to, to be in the darkness here. And they loved it. So souls that come here to play pure darkness are absolutely in line with their divine purpose and were actually loving it. Absolutely, you know, 100% smack on. <laughs> That's absolutely fascinating, their readings. And I plan on doing a show with them actually next month. Fascinating people. Great, great benefit to humanity because nothing can lie to you because energy doesn't lie. It has no opinion. It's a machine. It reads frequencies and energy. It's like yours. You can't hide your frequency and energy either. Energy doesn't lie. And it's not, it's no personal, it's nothing personal attached to it. And this is what I was trying to point out. Watch that video. It just gives you the frequency. And that's not a good frequency. But people found it very, uh, people found, found they need to have to defend it and got very angry because I was saying, don't just take this stuff. Understand it's not safe because you can leave yourself open to manipulation, to dark love, which are on those frequencies. All the dark dense of anyone has been and seen the demonic realm and experienced all these things, understand where these things vibrate at. Low, dense, dark frequencies, and especially.